Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've made a video and if you've watched the other videos you'll know that I do have anxiety, still have anxiety, um, my anxiety disorder is panic disorder, agoraphobia, generalized anxiety disorder. So um, what makes it worse for me is I also have um, this heart issue. Uh, now it's not a heart issue that's going to kill me, however, it drives me insane. It, it just makes me feel, um, every time I feel my heart palpitate, I feel like I'm going to die. I don't understand how people could feel their heart, well, I call it messing up. Like, how could you feel your heart do something silly that's not really supposed to do and not have a panic attack? So, every time I feel my heart do that, I get really bad anxiety. So, I have, um, I have inappropriate sinus tachycardia where my heart beats really fast for no reason. Yes, you know, people's heart beat faster when you exercise, walk, run, etc. But I could do something as simple as, you know, I could just be sitting down here and I could just get up at a normal pace and walk into the other room and my heart will be beating really fast. Um, I also have PACs and PVCs, premature atrial and ventricular contractions. And when I say I have heart palpitations, that is what I'm referring to, the PACs and PVCs. Uh, sometimes when people's heart just beats fast and they, they're aware of their heartbeat, they call that heart palpitations. And, you know, it's up to the person, I guess. But I don't think that's heart palpitations. That's just my heart racing. The PACs and PVCs, that's what get me. I can't stand them. I can almost deal with the fact that, the, that my heart beats fast, but I cannot deal with the PACs, PVCs. So, um... A few years ago, I went to my cardiologist, and she did a stress test with an echocardiogram. That's where they do the ultrasound of your heart. And I believe they injected dye into me. Um, I ran on the treadmill. She did full blood workup, um, checked my records for my other cardiologist, said that I was fine. So now it's been a few years. And now the fact that I am pregnant, I guess they just want to make sure you're, you know, extra okay. Like, because the last time I went to her, she, um, you know, she explained to me that I have these issues, but I don't have anything structurally wrong with my heart. I don't have heart disease, so these things aren't going to kill me. And, you know, she always says a lot of people have these PACs and PVCs, and they don't even feel it. They're benign. Mine are benign. So, you know, I don't care. It's still annoying. It still scares me. It still gives me extreme anxiety. It's like my anxiety makes my heart palpitate and my heart palpitating gives me anxiety. It's a vicious cycle. So anyways, um, as I was saying, now that I'm uh, pregnant, I feel like a lot of times um, people take extra precautions. So even the last time I seen her and she was like, you're fine and you really don't even need to come back. Um, the doctor I was seeing for the pregnancy just suggested I go to my cardiologist just to make sure everything's fine. So when I went, you know, I told her that he said that and how far along I was. And um, she just wants to, you know, do extra tests. Before I didn't need to go back, but now that I'm pregnant and everything's probably going to be the same, I still have the same symptoms. Um, she gave me this uh, Zeo patch, and I'll explain this in a second. Uh, but then she also wants to do an echocardiogram on me, and um, that's where they do the ultrasound of your heart. And what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Just echocardiogram in this. So um, this is a Zeopath. She told me she wanted me to wear a 48-hour halter monitor. And back in, I think it was 1999, I wore a halter monitor for 24 hours. And I had all these like patches attached to me, you know, the electrodes, and I had a box. I mean, it was a huge, it, like probably this tall and this wide, and you had to wear it on your belt. It was so heavy. That was back in 99. So about, what, 13 years later, 14 years later, it's amazing what they have done because now, and it came in this box here, um, I guess they can mail it to you too, I'm assuming, um, because I watch videos online, and I guess they've mailed it to people. But I got this at my doctor's office, which is in a hospital. So they gave me this. Um, they actually put it on me. Um, it came in this box. It has a instruction booklet, which I temporarily can't find. Um, 
but in the instruction booklet, you're supposed to write down, you know, what time your symptoms happened, how long they lasted, what you felt, what you were doing. But in my case, it happened so often, and there was only eight pages for symptoms. The lady told me, you know what, if it happens that much, you obviously can't write in the book. So this, um, this halter monitor, I wear it for 48 hours, and it records every heartbeat. And uh, this is what it looks like. It, that's how big it is. It's, that's it. There's nothing else, just this. Um, these are the two electrodes right here. And then where? And then right here. Okay, and then this is like the little computer right here. So a big box I was telling you about, that's what technology did. It's just right there now. And um, I know you can't really see, but on this patch right here, it says Zio, Z -Z -O, and there's a little button right here. They need to make this, this button bigger because it's so small. And considering you can't really see it, and when you feel it, this is textured, so it all kind of feels the same. So when I feel a symptom and I'm supposed to push the button, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're... I have to look in the mirror sometimes, but it, it, it's right there. It's the little raised button. And um, basically, I was told every time I feel a symptom, I press the button. Ran out of pages in the book, so now I'm just pushing the button when I feel a symptom. But yeah, I'm wearing this for 48 hours, and I guess you can wear it for um, up to two weeks. You know, it all depends on what your doctor says. But yeah, so we'll see. And... I'm pretty sure that they're going to see PACs and PVCs and they're going to tell me I'm fine, but, you know, I guess she wants to be extra sure that I'm fine. And, yeah, and actually this morning, because you can get a shower with this on my, um, the person that installed it, she said, and <laughs> somebody actually asked me this, so yeah, it's just adhesive on your skin. It's not attached to you other than adhesive. That is it. So, um... Yeah, I got a shower, and you just can't really stand directly in the water. She said have the back to the water. But this morning, I guess it became a little bit loose, and it was blinking up here. So, of course, I got really nervous. I'm like, oh, my God, what's wrong? Um, but nothing was wrong. I just had to, you know, make sure it was connected, and now it's not blinking anymore. So, yeah, when I'm done with this, um, all I have to do is put it back in this box and... Yeah, and there's an address on the front, and you just you just ship it back. It goes to um, some place in Illinois, and I guess they do it, and they I don't know if they send you a report or just your doctor. But yeah, pretty cool. So I just wanted to update everyone and subscribe to my channel, and I love the comments and the support that I always get from everyone and Facebook page, and I I really like that. I feel like um, people actually understand what I'm saying because before I started this. Nobody in my life really could understand. They're like, oh, it's just anxiety. Sit down, calm down, relax. Like somebody with an anxiety disorder, it, it's a lot different than just having anxiety. I think a lot of people don't understand that. So thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys updated, and I'll make another video soon.